we are just started. So support everyone, subscribe and share what we are trying to do. From early childhood, I was very passionate about art. Mom, dad, they were very supporting. From uh, childhood, I got 93% uh, in 10th. But uh, in spite of uh, getting good marks, uh, I decided to choose art as in my career. So completed GD art from Abhinav Kala Mahavidyalaya. And then uh, I got the admission in JJ School of Art. And there I completed uh, master's in fine art. After completing the master's, uh, I got the scholarship of uh, Florence Academy of Art. After coming back to India, I have started working in my own studios. Uh, even I have started a job at uh, Dr. D.Y. Patil College of Applied Arts as an assistant professor. Surabhi, you are not only a little bit not talented, and you are bright, and you are going to be a salt out, lots of journey. Imafoundation.com is a registered organization in India 2019 and in London 2008. Art organization was established with the core purpose of identifying, supporting and promoting the best of contemporary Indian artistic talent and traditions in the international arena. In particular, selecting, supporting and promoting the artists deemed to be the future standard bearers for Indian art. The cultural traditions and endangered arts of India are also showcased and supported to ensure they inspire and engage a new generation. In 2017, IMA was chosen to represent India at UNESCO's World Humanities Conference held in Liège, Belgium, where the endangered arts of India and contemporary art was showcased. IMA continues to be committed to showcasing and cultivating the cultural DNA of the Indian nation. From April 2020 till the present, imafoundation.com is offering a live online art project, which is focused on offering art training for all interested during the lockdown period. IMA Foundation is proud to present an online live demonstration by Shrabi Gulvelka. Shrabi was born in Pune in 1993. She undertook her master's in fine art in the JJ School of Art, Mumbai, gaining a first class degree in portraiture. She then went on to gain further scholarships attending the Florence, Florence Academy of Art in Italy for a summer workshop in 2017, and also gaining the Young Artist Scholarship from the Ministry of Culture, Government of India in 2017. She has received many awards in her early life at school and as uh, an emerging artist. Most notably, her awards include the State Art Exhibition Merit Award, the CVM National Exhibition of Art Gujarat, All India VV Oak Shimriti Art Exhibition in Pune, the Art Society Award for the Best Entry, Portrait Artist Group Finalist Award in 2019, and the Bombay Art Society Award for Portrait 2016. In 2019, she also gained the International Bold Brush Competition for the Outstanding Pastel Award. She has undertaken many group shows, but also solo shows in 2019 at the Jehangar Art Gallery and in the Art Today Gallery in Pune. Her artist statement reads as follows. As an artist is a mediator between one's visual perceptions and the canvas. There is a crystal clear rapport that comprises the visual understanding of the artists and their thought processes that forms the basis for the ultimate artwork. Not only is the importance lies in the proficiency of an artist, but also in their thought processes, which should be well appreciated. 
In fact, the soul of an exhibition is to demonstrate the intangible presence and sensibility of an artist. I am of the opinion that the transfer of the lifestyle and contemporary world should be reflected in any creation. The aesthetic value of the artwork will be surely enhanced. I believe though creativity is inherent and the significance of self-study and understanding the basic ideology in presentation should also equally be focused on. Hence, in the flow of creativity, one should not overlook the basic principles of art since classical study and core principles are the concrete base of any creation. I just really liked what you said about your parents. They supported you, yes, so much yeah. from the start. What, what's your parents' background? Why were they so passionate about art? My mom used to write you know, child literature and reads a lot. She writes poems. Even my dad, he is also uh, not a professional artist, but he used to, uh, you know, draw some sketches. And even he loves to go for uh, landscape paintings sometimes for outdoors. He doesn't have any professional background or uh, the techniques, uh, you know, what whatever we learn from the art schools, he doesn't have anything. But still, he tries to do with his own way. That, I think then instinctively understood there's a channel that we have to open and they've opened it in their own lives, but they wanted to really give that to, to you as well by the sound of it. And that's a, a great gift yeah. to give a child. So these are few uh, study works. Mm -hmm. Oil on canvas, isn't it all? Yes, everything <clears throat> oil on canvas. Hmm. There are few steel lines. Did you got any uh, benefit going to Florence? In, in uh, yes, definitely, definitely. Because uh, I understood the actual method of academic drawings. Hmm. Means uh, the color palettes and the techniques, uh, the actual method of uh, doing uh, the figures from life. So uh, there are some specific techniques about rendering the figure in uh, the classical manner. So mm -hmm. I learned those methods there. So wow. it was really, really beneficial. <clears throat> Three dimensional. But uh, JJ is good, Israel, isn't it? This technique. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, actually, these are two landscapes. There are many landscapes. I used to work in uh, the back campus of JJ School of Art. Mm -hmm. While studying in JJ, I always uh, get fascinated about uh, the scenic uh, campus of uh, JJ School of Art. And uh, there I used to arrange my easel. So uh, I always can say every junior young artist, uh, they say we can't see subject. There is lots of subject. You turn right side, left side, all of subject. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Surabhi did same, isn't it? Every corner is subject. Yeah. You, did you get a model in uh, JJ school? Yes, in JJ school, there are uh, availability of, uh, means we can get a lot of models there, nude models also. But did you have choice, like a few, only two, three models uh, again and again coming like that? Yeah, you get plenty of models. Uh, sometimes means from the college there are only three four models but mm -hmm. uh, we used to talk with uh, some other models and they if they uh, are ready for sitting as a nude or even semi nude they used to come uh, in our classes and they used to sit there mm, there's good facilities as a yeah be honest so, our santiniketan and baroda time we got rarely any model yeah <laughs> that were uh, good this I like the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. That's it. Okay, that was Surabhi Studio in Pune. So <clears throat> beautiful. Look at this uh, view, Israel, with brass. Lovely. And you've got a little garden, Israel, right? <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Pune is beautiful. My thoughts are very simple, and I think no particular subject is needed for painting the art. As you can see in my works, I always think that anything can be the subject for our painting. So we should not go too far or we should not complicate the things and thoughts 
to gather the subject or to decide the subject what exactly should be painted i always uh, keep myself very simple i believe that everything is depend on seeing of the person how exactly you see the things okay half of the things are done when you see the things perfectly how you see anything you can means you have to convert your visuals in on your canvas actually uh, the artist translates his visuals on his canvas so how he sees the things and how he transforms the thing how he translate his visual experiences on his canvas so everything depends on that concept so that is my thought <laughs> That, that makes a lot of sense, actually, and, and it shows the the strong relationship between the artist and the subject matter, which is in your artist statement. But that's a really yeah. incredible process when you when you feel it deeply. So it, it's coming through in in your words, but also on your canvas as well. Yeah. yeah. So I like to catch the aura of the subject. and suppose i'm seeing anything i don't like to imitate that uh, element directly uh, copying is not my intention i want to take i want to collect the essence of that uh, particular thing in my artworks so i paint it with my own way and i try to catch that uh, essence so yeah. that is my thought process surabhi is being everything is beauty actually everything is beautiful yeah. if you want to know so yeah. surabhi all of painting you can see mm -hmm. application and composition and color you know mm -hmm. she try to get through inside of the beauty yeah. pune yeah. is beautiful india is beautiful mm -hmm. and i always tell che pune ichi murgi is beautiful yeah <laughs> 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 anyway the dots are knows their knows what i say if they knows marathi yeah beauty has been recognized as the fifth power after sort of nuclear energy gravitation all <laughs> these things magnetic energy actually beauty is now considered to be the fifth power because it creates the harmony and the essence of life in form and that you see that is to help create it and bring it out yeah so it's so it's a great power surabhi is a really really very rare young artist her skill her knowledge her loving with work i will say rare talent to see in our country actually this is the linen i'm using here and i have used uh, one coat of gesso over it and now i'm applying one uh, primer layer so for that i'm using bond sienna and uh, ultramarine blue so let's start actually i would like to show my palette also just add uh, this primary tone here and after that we will have a slight look on my palette also so here i am using screen canvas size can you just tell the size uh, is about 16, 16 inches by 12 inches and here i am applying the mixture of burnt sienna uh -huh. ultramarine blue and a uh, lot of turpentine this layer very transparent my intention is very simple i just want to tone down this uh okay super white basically you are playing with middle tone yes yes, yes. It, it becomes very easy to <clears throat> means this is my method actually uh -huh. i get very comfortable it's uh, very easy for me to deal with the values with middle tones it's titanium white cad red this is cobalt blue it's ultramarine blue english red and camlin ah uh, uh, camlin is uh, the famous brand from india you know i love camlin yes few few uh, colors from camlin are the best colors i love burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine blue meridian is also wonderful cheers for our camlin in india 
this is uh, the basic one, palette two, three, four, five, which six, seven, eight, nine, this ten. colors we are using today so uh, i would like to tell few things about this uh, palette so mm -hmm. here uh, we will find uh, two yellows two reds and two blues so uh, in this two this is a lemon yellow and this is cadmium yellow deep this is a uh, cadmium red and this is crimson red this is cobalt blue and this is ultramarine blue and these two are earth pigments uh, those are transparent colors so uh, lemon yellow is a cool yellow and cadmium yellow is warm yellow uh, in red also cadmium red is warm red and crimson red is cool red and even in blue cobalt blue is cool blue and ultramarine blue is warm blue okay so this way i am uh, taking two temperatures in every color so this way i am um, uh, using these colors for uh, maintaining the temperature of my uh, uh, paintings so while working uh, with colors we have to manage uh, the chroma and temperature of uh, each and every color so it becomes very easy for me to deal with the temperature so that's why i'm taking two temperatures in every color by observing uh, the works of old masters we can easily notice these uh, things like how they have maintained the temperatures and chroma in their paintings we can easily understand how they have achieved the temperatures uh, they in many of the works like uh, in zhon's paintings we can uh, uh, see means uh, in the nude paintings of zhon he uh, just used three colors means uh, with the limited palette like cadmium red yellow ochre and uh, ivory black he has maintained so many temperatures so that way means i observed how he has uh, used so many uh, values temperatures and chroma these three colors so mainly i'm using these three colors but with two temperatures we can see the primary colors yellow red blue but in yellow we have two yellows in red we have two reds and in blue we have two blues so this way only with primary colors we are going to uh, complete this uh, work so means i'm i'm going to try actually yeah 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 thank you for explaining very really interesting yeah i will start So again, I'm using uh, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue mixture of.
Instead of this building up in our layer with structure, you know, yeah. it is very important. Observing the rhythm of the body because uh, there are some unseen lines in the figure. So it, that means those lines actually create the rhythm in the figure. So those gesture lines means how uh, the figure is moving, means how the rhythm is going in the figure. Th those un unseen lines are very important. And uh, I'm just catching those lines. Those lines are not visible, but I have to assume those lines and then I have to go with those. <laughs> yes, Beautiful. Yes, Beautiful. And I'm just catching the uh, shapes of the shadow and how mm -hmm. uh, the areas of shadows, how the shadow is falling. So mm -hmm. with that way, uh, means those are like uh, helping points for me. So I'm just mm -hmm. catching those shadow parts, mm -hmm. the shapes of the shadows and the shapes of the lights. And uh, with those points, I'm gradually uh, going ahead with this drawing. So this is my mapping is done. So I have just mapped out how the figure will be. You can clearly see uh, the two parts of shadow and light, the shapes of shadow and the shapes of light. So I'm going to follow these shapes till the end. Shadow areas, I will not uh, focus on the shadow is area shadow areas more rather i will mm. focus on the lighting part uh, which this area and this area which mm. is in the pure light so this will be my focal point and all other area i will not uh, focus much on the other part like uh, the feet and uh, hands and head so this will be my main focus so mm. that way will do. Actually, human figure is really very beautiful. It is the pure form from the nature. People mainly uh, paint all other natural uh, things very openly. Like they paint the sunsets, they paint the trees, animals, uh, all other things, seascapes, landscapes. But while painting the human, fan, uh, human form, they, I don't know what happened with them. They feel very 
uncomfortable while uh, doing uh, nude studies you will have a look on the palette okay so these are my colors here here you can see the warm tones and these are the cool tones in skin tone okay so i'm taking uh, while whenever i want warm uh, tones i uh, take the color from this and when i need uh, cool tones i take the color from this mixture so this way i'm doing i'm taking two different brushes for these two and one by one i'm taking this and uh, for this cool i am using cool tones like cobalt blue crimson red even lemon yellow so with these cools i have created this uh, cool skin tone all other colors are also touched a little bit but majorly cool tones uh, are used majorly so this way uh, and uh, we can see uh, these two are completely different means i am not mixing this with this it it creates something chalkiness in the uh, painting so the freshness uh, gets off from the painting that's why uh, this discipline is very important this is what uh, i i think and even uh, i maintain this for myself while the painting i always keep my palette very clean uh, the cools uh, should be at different place and the warm should be at the different place so this is my thought actually Uh, so oil describe, Surabhi. Oil describe. Basically, painting should not get muddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
So here we can find cool tones like violet or something and these are the warm tones. So this way, whenever I need to add warms, I'm just taking the warms from the warm mixture. Mm -hmm.
the whole figure means while i'm using thick paints i have not used any kind of medium not turpentine and even not any kind of oil like linseed or liquin nothing i just use pure paints and uh, while applying this background uh, the burnt sienna and uh, uh, ultramarine blue cobalt blue so for that purpose i am using a little bit of turpentine and uh, here i am doing it in uh, ala prima method means wet in wet technique i am using here that's why i am uh, using a little bit of turpentine make the color uh, more thin colors i want whenever i work in um, process painting method the sitting method like first sitting second sitting third sitting uh, in that case uh, i don't use so much of turpentine since as per my studies or as per my observation turpentine should be used in initial layers only if we uh, use more uh, turpentine in the subsequent layers uh, the subsequent layers get muddy or something kind of a chalky yeah. thing that's why for the subsequent layers we should use linseed oil in that case in uh, process painting so means uh, this is my method of painting shrapi i just wanted to say um it was a privilege to see this today um you know what i can see is you've got a strong heart and a strong head but you work with these together and um what what is here is um the flow of that energy it's a very 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 powerful force when our heart unifies with our our brain and actually it brings the whole body into an energetic flow and we saw that live on campus so i really wanted to say thank you yeah thanks a lot ma'am it was actually it was my pleasure to be here and to present uh, my artwork here <laughs> so <laughs> it's beautiful it's beautiful and it's really inspiring really even um, mansi also said fantastic a uh, fantastic and strong work it is thank you mansi puja das first year painting in master degree khairagar art college first of all good evening everyone and uh, i must say uh, didi you are just amazing with your works i have learned so much from you today uh, i haven't practiced oil painting much but uh, you have really inspired me so much today uh, you your brush strokes your colors just everything is so amazing thank you so much thanks a lot anand do you want to ask anything yes uh i really enjoy the works and the layer and the cups is uh, basically it's not uh, easy to work in you know such small size the full body you know <laughs> thank you anand sharma uh, he just finished his master degree in painting in tripura university okay. and he is my uh, brother uh, younger yeah. son yeah. my yeah. name <laughs> <laughs> you look like you need little bit like me but he is more better looking <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine Sao she is uh, fantastic she is uh, Jasmine do you want to ask uh, any questions she is self taught yeah. artist uh, thank you to bolna chahungi thank you so much most welcome itne mein bahut maza aaya sach mein sir bahut mujhe ko mila Jasmine show your one painting Jasmine का painting है. Water color है Jasmine? हाँ sir. Lovely works. Thank you. Very beautiful. Nine months में Jasmine ने develop किया है. Yes, बना रही थी. तो mirror से देख के किया है. Very good, Jasmine. हाँ sir. छोटा सा. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jasmine, thank you very much. Hey, Abna Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine, uh, Odisha ke hai. Uh, Pratik, tera 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 kahani bata. Uh, Pratik is uh, mind blowing. Pratik, tell uh, you do you know how to agriculture in field is oil, isn't it? With your mom and dad. 
हाँ एक्चुअली कुछ नहीं मतलब मम्मी पापा फार्मिंग करते हैं और मैं भी उनके साथ काम करता हूँ और मेरा काम करता हूँ पेंटिंग भी करता हूँ साथ में मेरा अभी अभी मास्टर कंप्लीट हुआ है जे जे स्कूल ऑफ आर्ट से ही मतलब दो हजार मतलब बीस में कंप्लीट हुआ और अभी घर में और काम करता हूँ पेंटिंग करता हूँ और खेती करता हूँ सुरभि का काम तो बहुत अच्छा है हम लोग मतलब हम जब कॉलेज में थे तब से उसका काम देख रहे है और बहुत अच्छा लगता है काम देखने मतलब और बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला आज भी वैसे हेलो थैंक यू हेलो का कुछ पूछने का सुरभि को नहीं सर सुरभि का डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन काफी अच्छा था बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला हाय शिलाका हाय सुरभि hi <laughs> thanks when you express that thought it was simple but very deep and it showed the importance of letting the heart come through and when the heart comes through it's freedom it's enjoyment it's pleasure but the mind can also create fear and stop you so i was just interested in how you deal with your mind <laughs> purity of your mind is very important if your mind is very pure and you are very clear with whatever you want to pull on your canvas in that case uh, you become very clear with your thoughts and all, all the things so in that case directly whatever is going on through your brain whatever you are thinking it automatically reflects on your canvas through in that case uh, your mind becomes the mediator so through that mind you can just express whatever you want to paint on your canvas so yeah i that, think that makes, sense. that makes sense so the mind has got clear pure intention yeah, yeah and yeah, the, yeah, heart, exactly. the heart yeah. cleans it <laughs> okay yes. perfect thank you thank you i enjoyed a lot thanks a lot <laughs> no. and ima foundation uh, always time look for young talent our indian talent and we got talent in our country so this is the platform not only india but we need to educate ourselves first then we can educate our people because until we are not educated ourselves how to we can express how to you can explain this is very important so bye bye everyone jai hind bye bye Bye. Bye 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 bye. bye. bye.